Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. And if you're a new viewer, welcome to Pie in the Sky Tours. As you may already know, it's been confirmed that DirectX 12 will be coming to Microsoft Flight Simulator on PCs as part of Sim Update 7, which will be released on November 18th as an optional setting for simmers. This is an exciting feature that we're all keen to learn about and see implemented in the sim. Today's video will focus on what DirectX actually is and what kind of impact it will have on the sim's performance generally with a focus on VR. So the main questions we are asking is what is DirectX 12? Will it improve overall performance in the sim? And will it improve VR? I will address these burning questions and hopefully shed some light on this exciting upcoming feature, which should make for some great discussions in the comments. I'm always keen to hear your opinions, so please feel free to add your two cents below. And if I've missed something, please let me know. The developers have hinted that DirectX will do a lot for graphics performance, apparently allowing them to add new tech without it impacting on FPS, which sounds great. So what is DirectX 12? Well, here's the official definition from Microsoft. DirectX is a collection of application programming interfaces, or APIs, for handling tasks related to multimedia, especially game programming and video, on Microsoft platforms. DirectX, or DX12, enables developers to add amazing graphics effects to Microsoft Windows-based PC games. GeForce graphics cards deliver advanced DX12 features such as ray tracing and variable rate shading, bringing games to life with ultra-realistic visual effects and faster frame rates. The name DirectX was coined as a shorthand term for all of these APIs, and soon became the name of the collection. When Microsoft later set out to develop a gaming console, the X was used as the basis of the name Xbox to indicate that the console was based on DirectX technology. So now we know what DirectX is, the next question is, will it improve the sim? There's been a lot of talk about how or if DirectX will improve the sim, and based on what the developers have said, we can explore this a bit further. As mentioned in a recent Q&A, utilizing DirectX should allow the improvement of shadows and reflections and add ray tracing without any negative impact, which is really exciting. I will do a dedicated video taking a look at ray tracing very soon, so look out for that one too. The developers didn't actually say if there will or won't be a performance gain after introducing DirectX 12. What they actually said, and they were very careful about phrasing this, is that switching to DX12 in itself doesn't automatically bring performance gain it's what developers do with it that can do it. By switching, they're rewriting some code, so it should bring modest performance gains, or losses, hopefully not. And in VR, just a few FPS can mean the difference between silky smooth reprojection and not. So after they port the sim to DirectX 12, we'll hopefully get significantly improved resource allocation between threads, because in DirectX 11, rendering is still mostly single threaded. With DirectX 12, you can also expect better overall graphic effects. The big question is the CPU side, and that's something that I don't think has been answered yet in as much depth. So if you're CPU bound, this may or may not change. Since Sim Update 6, the team have improved the CPU optimization, which seems to be having a positive effect, and hopefully with DirectX 12, things will get that much better. However, in another recent developer update, Asobo stated that the DX12 work for the Xbox version also affects how optimization works, which will bring better RAM utilization. So when we do get the DX12 update, We'll see better performance, but not directly due to DX12 itself, but from the RAM and amount of threads utilized. As of now, we understand that DirectX 12 will be an optional setting for users to control in the sim itself. I'm not sure on what kinds of specs are needed to run it as yet, but I'm really looking forward to seeing the results once Sim Update 7 has landed on the 18th of November. And now for the question that everybody's asking. Will DirectX 12 improve VR? I think it's going to be very good for VR to have DX12, but I do understand if it takes some time for the developers to take advantage of all that it has to offer. But step by step, I think we'll get there. But we really need to try and be patient as the team implements these changes and develops reliable coding to run the sim in VR at a higher quality. The great challenge with VR is that it requires high resolutions, high frame rates, and very low latency, which we need. So the developers are effectively working with 90 Hertz and two high resolution screens, which need to process very, very quickly. The great thing about DirectX 12 is that it enables this to be done at a much more manageable level, so again, it's exciting times for the sim. I'm confident we'll see improved visuals and performance when DirectX 12 is introduced, but I do think it's important to remain patient while these changes happen post Sim Update 7. Remember, this is a significant change and will take time to develop, and I'm really excited about DirectX 12 and what it can do for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. 
I won't be doing any beta testing for Sim Update 7 because I want to keep creating content in order to help all of you get the best performance possible in both VR and flat screen mode. And please do let me know your thoughts about the implementation of DX12 in the comment section below, as I think it will make for some really good discussion. And if you are wanting to add even more realism into the sim, then check out my butt kicker review and software tutorials. As always, I hope you find this content useful, and I look forward to making the next video soon. Please like, subscribe, and share the video if you find it useful, as it may help other simmers too. As always guys, thanks for watching, and please do remember to take care, and stay safe.